at the moment I feel like I'm at the peak, but um, next year let's find out there might be a new peak. It seems to be the sky's the limit now. Everyone just wants to bring in older models and, and accepting diversity and being appreciated when companies use older models, the feedback has been great. I think modeling you get rejected a lot, so that rejection you're used to, but you know you get some good jobs too. I have to say now at 70 I don't get rejected, which is really nice. You have built this you know, incredible career as a dietitian and a model, but social media and technology has been this extraordinary catalyst. Yes. How have you thought about using those, those tools in your life? With modeling, I really, you can't really promote yourself in the past because you only did what the agent could do for you. But now you can uh, with social media, so it's a big advantage that. I started posting Instagram photos and this just built up, built up. Eventually I met a young man who said you should be modeling for a big agency like IMG, introduced me to IMG, and that's how it took off. You were a single mother and you talked a lot about the struggle to put food on the table. How did you navigate that stress and that intensity? How did I navigate? I just had to survive it. The thing is, you don't have to go out for dinner. You don't have to go have a mani-pedi. You can do it yourself. You don't have to color your hair, because I was coloring my hair blonde. You can do it yourself. So it was various shades of, of orange, you know, blonde and orange. And you don't have to have meet people for drinks. You can't afford that. And you can't afford the time to take off. I think being a single mother, you are more ambitious and you do work harder you have uh, pressure, and I like that. You mentioned your son, who is a you know food entrepreneur, yeah. your daughter is an award-winning filmmaker, uh, your son Elon's one of the most iconic um, leaders in Silicon Valley. How do you as a mother think about that? So I was fortunate to have three kids who uh, were adventurous and responsible too. Of course, as I say, Elon is just my genius boy. <laughs> he, or he said, I remember him saying to me after um, PayPal was sold, should he do solar or electric cars uh, or space? And I said, well, just choose one. Well, obviously he didn't listen to me. <laughs> when you do have, have a child who has achieved that level of success, how do you deal and navigate with the, the public scrutiny that comes with that. I would say 98% really appreciate what he does, but those 2% that are nasty, they are out there in full force being nasty all the time. And uh, my children have to tie me down and so does my publicist when, uh, when something nasty comes out because I'm ready to fight. Well, last question uh, for you. If you were to write a letter to your younger self, when you were raising three small children, building your career, what advice would you have loved to have known at that point in time? I would say if you're in an unhappy situation, get out quicker. Don't think it's going to change. You have to get out. And getting out of them could mean financial loss. It could mean you lose your friends. It could because you're moving to a new city, you have no friends and it still has to be better than what you were in before. And accept the consequences, be responsible for yourself, but you can survive.